Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the Civic drum brakes. Um, you can probably see the issue straight away, but we'll get into that in a second. Popping this little drum hub cover off. If you don't know how to do it, it's not that hard. Basically, you just gotta start wiggling it off. It is gonna be corroded on there. Like, look at all this and look at the state of it. You know it is. So, what you need to do is you need to just free it a little bit, and then get something like, I've got these old mole grips that are a bit knackered. I don't really mind like sort of bending them and twisting them. You can just sort of make a gap, get it behind and pry it off. Make sure you do it evenly all the way around and then wiggle it off, just keep wiggling it. And then it eventually does pop free. You can already see the problem here. It's sticking on. And today we're going to be fixing that. You can see that as well, the uneven wear there. It's just, it's obvious what's happened. And you can see there, it's not actually in the right position compared from that one to that one. So we'll, we'll be sorting that one as well. Okay, so as you saw from the last clip, I had some issues, let's say, with the, with this drum brake. Now, what I've done is I've gone home and I actually picked up a few washers just to test fit some um, because that way the diameter of this pin is increased, hence eliminating said problem. And let's see if this has fixed our issues. We've got our hole there. I keep headbutting this car. I do it a lot, don't I? And yeah, that's straight away that's fixed the issue. I'm so, so happy about that. Okay, so that's threaded through there and it's going to hold. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use this screwdriver to try and push the little clip back because it is actually harder than you think. Okay, just to save myself a bit of time and grief, I did put the camera down whilst I was doing this, but I've just managed to do it. Um, basically, it's just the same setup as the old side. It's just, um, it just looks a little bit different, obviously, because this one's probably been on here 22 years. This one's brand new. So what you do is I've put the pin through the hole with the washer on, use both my hands and all my force to push this down, threading it through both holes. And you can see I've twisted it around there just with the screwdriver on it to knock it into place. So it's crossing there and that's what holds this back. So that's that issue fix. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. So now let's uh, let's put this old drum back on. Before we put the old drum back on, I'm actually gonna uh, grease the face here and I'm gonna grease the back of this as well. Just here that is, just so the next time this comes off, it's gonna be much, much easier to actually remove rather than having all the stress that I had hammering it off with a hammer. So you don't want to absolutely leather it in copper grease, or if you're from another part of the world, it might be called anti-seize for you. Um, you just want to apply the right amount, not the um, not an amount that's going to overflow the area just like this. this. This looks good. And also, if you're wearing gloves or something, make sure that you don't touch any of the braking material with the copper grease, obviously, because it, it, your brakes just aren't going to work. And then grab your drum, line it up with the threads, and pop it straight back on like that. Might have to do a bit of adjustment. And there you have it, there's your drum brake back together. In my case, what had actually happened was the handbrake cable did need some um, adjustment, so I had a little bit of assistance off her dad once again, just to show me and point me in the right direction so I didn't sort of mess anything up. Just a case of getting a little screwdriver, tapping it back into place, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, that's the drum brakes unstuck. And as for this thing, that's all major work done. Only thing left to do now is rewire the horn, which we'll, um, we'll, we'll continue with another time. That'll be for in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, that's how you unstick your drum brakes. If, um, if this helps you or you enjoyed it, leave a like, give us some feedback in the comments. And yeah, I'll catch you next week.